Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today, um, we are gonna start off looking at our little girl, Minnie here. Um, and the reason that we are looking at her, she is deep in shed, um, is because she is going to be getting a new boyfriend today. Um, I have been looking for quite a while um, for a boyfriend for her. Um, and I was debating whether or not to buy a hatchling because she's a little over two years old and she's quickly getting to breeding size. Um, I would say probably the next half year to a year. Um, and I was actually f able to find an adult male um, through Morph Market. And I was also able to find something else that I've been looking for for quite a while. And it is going to be set up in this aquarium once it gets here later today. So um, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna start off the day with moving the males around in the different female tubs, um, the ones that are breeding. And then we'll finish up the video by showing you these two surprise unboxings. All right, so we're gonna work our way up the rack. Um, first is Danky Kang and Annie here. And we'll see, they are not locked up. Um, let me see. The, uh, I did catch them locking up at some point the other day. Um, so that's good, they continue to lock up. They've locked up quite a few times. So I'm hoping that means that they're uh, Gonna be expecting some eggs soon. She actually looks super bright, a lot brighter than she normally does. Um, she also seems to be kind of swollen back here. Um, so that's good, that's a good sign. So let me pull him out and switch him over to the Superfly. Um, they have also been pairing up a lot. She's, I swear to God, every time I see here, she looks brighter to me. So she's, a, she's a super pastel fire. <clears throat> and she just looks like she's brighter every single time I open up this tub. So we'll put them in there. Um, they have been, the last three, four weeks have been kind of locking up every single week. So um, let me get his tag pulled over there. Now Tesla here, my boy, he has been Well, he's locked up, so that's what you would consider a lock. Their, their tails are sort of intertwined, um, you know, his being underneath hers. So that's a fantastic sign. I'm glad that is happening. I'm going to slowly close this tub, not to interrupt them too much. And I'm going to leave them in there. Um, that'll be the fourth week here. So I'll put a check mark. He didn't start locking up with her. They, they were in there in December, no locks. Um, no lock the first week of January, but every week since then they have, so that's a good sign. Unfortunately, Crystal and the Special Lesser GHI has not locked up with yet, at least that I've seen. Um, so hopefully that changes now that he's got it on a roll. These two, my Ivory Leopard and Ivory Possible Enchi, again, there's a lock. And these two have actually been locked up every time I've looked in here for the last 24 to 36 hours. So I already have the check mark on there. Um, Big Puma and one of my Super Enchi ODs were locked up, and they're not anymore, so I'm pulling, I don't know why he's sitting in there. They're definitely intertwined there. Let me pull them apart. He doesn't want to let go. Come on, buddy. All right. So he's going to go next door to my other Super Enchi OD female. She's hugging the cold side, so that's also a good a good sign. So we will put, no get in there, buddy. So that's a good sign. We'll move his tag over. Alright, baby butter and shredder. Um I honestly cannot tell whether they're locked up or not, so I'm gonna leave them alone until later. The fact that they're coiled up like this and their tails are in the same spot under here and I can't see it, I'm not going to interrupt it because if they're locked up, it's kind of a dumb thing to do. So we'll leave them as is and I'll check back later today. Uh, this is Black Mask and my 
Ooh, that's a good lock too. It's my Sterling Lesser female. They, these two seem to lock up every single time. And I, I've been pairing them up to the Sterling female over here. And she's hugging the cold side, but I haven't caught a lock. They don't seem to be ever next to each other. Um, but these two are always locking up, which is a fantastic sign. These two should make some really beautiful babies. Next, we have my Ultramels. And they are on two completely opposite sides of the tub. So she's been hugging the cold side for a while. She doesn't look super big like she's ovulating. Um, but what I'll do is I'll pull him out and put him in with my pastel leopard which is his next pair um her the mojave and she females also his other pair up but she's actually just eight so i'm not gonna do her today she has been hugging the cold side as well and she's naturally just a huge girl so um they've had a couple locks three not a ton um but hopefully you know she's a proven breeder and he's been really locking up well with everybody so that's a good sign so i have to move his tag over um all these ones that are still locked up black mask shredder the ivory and tesla i'll have to check back i'll probably give them another maybe six hours in there i'll check back later um this is my leopard clown male joker and my pastel lesser head clown and they're locked up too you can see right there um their tail's locked up, um, which is also a good sign because he didn't start off breeding anybody very well either. But as you can see, last week of December and then the last three weeks, they're locked up. So I have to put a check mark there for him. Um, I think that, that's it. That's all my males. That's all the males for right now. Um, next, let's get into the unboxing, which is what I'm really excited about. All right, so this is the package I've been waiting for. I just came back from FedEx, picked it up at the hub. Um, this, these guys are actually both from Outback Reptiles. Um, had a really good experience buying from them, real quick and real easy. So, shout out to them. Now, uh, what we'll do here first is take out um, the Rainbow Boa, which is going to be. Uh, Minnie's new boyfriend. Uh, I don't have a name picked out for him yet, so you know if you guys have any recommendations, I guess it would make sense that his name would be Mickey, but I don't know if I want his name to be that or not. Um, let me move this to the side. All right, I'm back. Uh, let's cut this zip tie off of here. Must be a pretty big snake if it's uh. This big pillowcase. Hopefully it's not too angry at me here. He's a big boy. He's really dark. Definitely has a different coloration than many. It's a lot darker. Very similar size to many. Um, but he's definitely a lot darker than her curious to see what um this paper off him you know in a year's time or so what their uh, what their babies will look like but yeah he is really dark compared to her she's like a really bright vibrant red he's almost like a dark chocolate color i'm wondering if it'll fire up a little bit um as i get him oh he's angry he's just trying to bite the camera so before i get bit let me put them away. <laughs> Alright, and what I'm really excited about is what's in this little container here. And that is a little baby purple tegu. Uh, purple tegu is a cross between a red and a blue. Um, it's 75% blue, 25% red. If these genetics are, you know, 100% spot on. Um, but it's... Uh, It'll probably be roughly the same size as like a black and white tegu, maybe a little smaller. Um, just as intelligent, all from the same regions. And I'm really excited about this. I have been wanting one of these guys for a long time. Um, let's see. Hmm. 
relatively calm for just the just coming out of the package. Now I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Um, Clint Clint's reptile said there's like an enlarged scale sort of down here at the bottom near their vent. I'm not seeing that right now. Um, if it's not there, he said those are females. So I'm not sure if it's a male or female. I'll have to check it out once it gets a little bigger. Um, but I'm really excited about this. And the cool thing about the purples from the couple of videos that I could find is that they actually don't turn like a blue green, like the blues or very red, like the reds do. They actually stay it's very similar color and pattern to the black and whites. Um, but they're usually a lot higher white than the black and white tegus are. Um, so this guy or girl is, has a really nice, uh, big belly, um, kind of a yellow belly too. Um, he seems pretty calm and hopefully, you know, that's just his, his or her temperament. Um, and he stays that way, but I mean, he looks, maybe he's just trying to warm up too. So he's, but these guys are really smart. I'm really excited about this and to watch them grow. Um, they get pretty big. Um, and I love the coloration on them. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to put him into his cage um, and show you guys how that's set up real quick and then let him go for a little bit and just kind of relax. And then I'll try, maybe try to feed him later today too to see, um, you know, if he wants to take some food. All right, so this is his setup. Um, for, you know, until he starts getting a little bigger. It's a 40 gallon breeder. Um, you know, I have a hide over there on the cool side, a hide over here on the hot side. Uh, you know, his food and water bowls here, a nice plant, um, probably four inches of substrate. I use the coconut coir, like the broken up ground up stuff. Um, his hot spots over here, I have a UVB light and a 100 watt heat light. It's about 115 degrees over where the hot spot is in my reptile room is just 80 degrees in general. So that'll keep him warm there. Um, I have sphagnum moss mixed into the substrate to help keep the humidity up because I need a lot more humidity than my ball pythons. Um, so this should hold him for hopefully a couple months, at which point, you know, I'm going to be looking at getting his full size enclosure ready. Um, for him to live in. So as you can see again, I mean, he's still kind of cold. I could tell just from, from holding him here. Um, he's still a little chilly from the ride up from, I think they're from Virginia and I'm in Pittsburgh. Um, so I'm going to get him put in here. And I think, you know, once he hits that hot spot, um, he really should start running around a lot more. And I'm really curious to see, um, how he moves around because you know, all the snakes are in racks and I don't get to see them really move around a whole lot. The rainbow bow is almost completely nocturnal. And, uh, you know, the skink moves around a decent, amount, a decent amount throughout the day, but not a ton. Um, so I'm curious to see how much more active this guy is. So let me carefully and gently and safely get him in there. Man, he's really, really calm. And I'm really excited about that. Hopefully, that's his temperament for, you know, for being a, a really young baby. Um, and for just being in a 12 hour ship, uh, this is super docile. Hopefully that's, that's the way they stay. Look how long and pretty that tail is. That's really cool. Um, so let's get him right there and let's see what he does. I'm kind of curious to see where he goes. Um, I almost guarantee you that he's going to want to start warming up in there. I'm actually going to pull the camera off here real quick so I can get you a closer view of what's going on. He's back there in the corner. I'm probably actually going to maybe put some weights up here too just to make sure he can't get off. I don't have any of those clips. Um, you know, they clip the lid down. So I'm probably going to get some, uh, some small weights, a couple pound weights, just to make sure he can't get out of there. Cause I'm sure these guys are strong and they're smart and they could be fast and I don't want him getting out. So 
I'm wondering if he found the hot side of the, <laughs> the hot side of the cage and he's just gonna sit there and chill out until he warms up so um, let's leave him alone just let him get acclimated to his surroundings and that's it for today's vlog um, very exciting you know moved some of the snakes over um, some of the males with some more females and got mini a boyfriend boa and got my purple tegu which i'm really the most excited about so um i'll have a ton of updates for you guys on him or her as you know maybe showing you guys how he eats what he eats um you know how he's liking his new setup and how he's growing which is probably going to be very fast because he's got lizards grow fast in general um, compared to snakes but with how big these get, I'm sure, you know, even if I don't show them for two months, he's gonna look like he's completely different. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. And please remember to like and subscribe. See ya.